Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 27th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day Foundation There is a direct linkage among self-examination, meditation, and prayer. Taken separately, these practices can bring much relief and benefit, but when they are logically related and interwoven, the result is an unshakable foundation for life. Twelve Steps in Twelve Traditions, page 98. Thought to Consider Prayer is asking a question. Meditation is listening for the answer. AA Acronyms ASAP Always Say a Prayer Just for today, Hope from Tightrope. He put me in contact with an individual who took me to my first meeting. Although I can barely recall anything about that meeting, I heard two things that I have never forgotten. The first was, You don't have to drink again. This was a total revelation to me. For a long time, I had believed that alcohol was one of the very few positive things left in my life. I looked forward to my first drink every evening and thought that alcohol was holding my life together. I had to drink to survive, let alone to have any comfort. Yet here, people who had been in the same boat were telling me that I didn't have to drink. I don't think I believed them that night, but it gave me enough hope to avoid drinking the rest of the day. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 364 to 365. Daily Reflections, a unique stability. Where does AA get its direction? These practical folk then read Tradition 2 and learn that the sole authority in AA is a loving God as he may express himself in the group conscious. The elder statesman is the one who sees the wisdom of the group's decision, who holds no resentment over his reduced status, whose judgment, fortified by considerable experience, is sound, and one who is willing to sit quietly on the sidelines, patiently awaiting developments. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions pages 132 and 135. Into the fabric of recovery from alcoholism are woven the 12 steps and the 12 traditions. As my recovery progressed, I realized that the new mantle was tailor-made for me. The elders of the group gently offered suggestions when change seemed impossible. Everyone's shared experiences became the substance for treasured friendships. I know that the fellowship is ready and equipped to aid each suffering alcoholic at all crossroads in life. In a world beset by many problems, I find this assurance a unique stability. I cherish the gift of sobriety. I offer God my gratitude for the strength I receive in a fellowship that truly exists for the good of all members. As Bill sees it, Righteous Indignation The positive value of righteous indignation is theoretical, especially for alcoholics. It leaves every one of us open to the rationalization that we may be as angry as we like, provided we can claim to be righteous about it. Letter, 1954. When we harbored grudges and planned revenge for defeats, we were really beating ourselves with the club of anger we had intended to use on others. We learned that if we were seriously disturbed, our very first need was to quiet that disturbance, regardless of who or what we thought caused it. 12 and 12, page 47. Big Book Quote Though there is no way of proving it, we believe that early in our drinking careers, most of us could have stopped drinking. But the difficulty is that few alcoholics have enough desire to stop while there is yet still time. Alcoholics Anonymous, More About Alcoholism, page 32. 
24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. When we came into AA, the first thing we did was to admit that we couldn't do anything about our drinking. We admitted that alcohol had us licked and that we were helpless against it. We never could decide whether or not to take a drink. We always took the drink. And since we couldn't do anything about it ourselves, we put our whole drink problem into the hands of God. We turned the whole thing over to that power greater than ourselves. And we have nothing more to do about it except to trust God to take care of the problem for us. Have I done this honestly and fully? Meditation for the day. This is the time for my spirit to touch the spirit of God. I know that the feeling of the spirit touch is more important than all the sensations of material things. I must seek a silence of spirit touching with God. Just a moment's contact and all the fever of life leaves me. Then I am well, whole, calm, and able to rise and minister to others. God's touch is a potent healer. I must feel that touch and sense God's presence. Prayer for the day. I pray that the fever of resentment, worry, and fear may melt into nothingness. I pray that health, joy, peace, and serenity may take its place. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.